video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Well, 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 folks, this one was a long time coming with my humble perception. Colon, Mark, hyphen, lowercase k, Kishon, colon, space, Christopher, full stop, has been sentenced to seven years in prison. And I'm going to go into depth as to why this is, as provided by uh, the fiction news sites and whatnot. But folks, if you've been following my channel, especially the Coral Blade Grotto broadcasts, you will know that I've done multiple videos showing what this man has been doing, and most of all, drawing attention to the fact that Mark Cushon Christopher does not have closure on correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. He may have extensive knowledge about parse, but parse is one out of the three elements of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. The first element is correct sentence structure, communication. He doesn't know how to do that. The second element is parse, which he does know how to do that. And the third element is syntax, which he has no clue how to do, at least from the evidence that he's shown in paperwork he's publicly uh, shared on his website and uh, other places. Folks, this guy claims to have taught syntax, but really he's teaching parse. And you can see that in the... Uh, TJ Mars website, You Are Law, who I guess at some point were connected to Mark, they do the same thing because they learned it from him. They don't have closure on the grammar either, and they confuse syntax with parse, which is a very rudimentary beginner mistake that one would make. And, uh, well, here we go. This is from the BBC. One day ago, and today right now is October 29th, 2024, uh, cult members jailed over coroner kidnap plot. Members of an anti-establishment cult. I highly doubt that that is a name that Mark came up with, or any of his followers came up with. I doubt they would call themselves anti-establishment. That is a name that was created probably by Lewis Adams. Have been jailed for up to seven years for storming a court with handcuffs and trying to kidnap a coroner. Storming a court. Mark Christopher, 59, led the group that tried to shut down Essex Coroner's Court, Chelmsford, having accused senior coroner Lincoln Brooks of interfering with the dead in April 2023. Interfering with the dead. That's interesting. Matthew Martin, 47. I think that's this guy right here, if you can see my cursor. Sean Harper, 38. I think it's that guy. And his wife, she's a Harper. I'm pretty sure that's her. 45, were part of the group and believed they could overrule the UK judicial system. All four were sentenced at Chelmsford Crown Court, having been convicted of conspiracy to kidnap and conspiracy to commit false imprisonment. So those are the charges. Conspiracy to kidnap and conspiracy to commit false imprisonment. 
I have gone over the paperwork in this case in another video. You're more than welcome to check that out. I want to make it clear right off the bat that there is nothing in this case or scenario that has anything to do with correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. When they say they believe they could overrule the UK judicial system, they are not referring to correct sentence structure because none of these people have any idea about how to use correct sentence structure and none of them have even a little bit of closure on it by my humble perception. Christopher was also found guilty of sending a letter or email with intent to cause distress or anxiety. How would one? I guess that would have to be a very threatening letter. Um, threatening, maybe using the language that he used in the paperwork, which you see right here is some of it, um, where he used words like corporal punishment and I think capital punishment, meaning the death penalty. So I guess that could be construed as a volition to cause distress or anxiety. He was jailed for seven years while Sean and Shiza Harper and Martin were given 30 month sentences. Oh, 30 months. Okay, folks, if you draw your attention to this video right here, Grammar Audit 7, where I did the grammar audit of the attempted kidnapping. If you notice here, this comment right here from Liam John Costello, they said, we write to you in plain simple English with regard to your video audit and want to set the record straight. We have nothing to do with your relationship with Marcus Schoen and we are not your foe. With regard to the judicial notice and good faith, it was our aim to help make the world a better place. We see that the death penalty, albeit for heinous crimes against children, can be seen as at odds with being in peace. Their aim to make the world a better place was a conspiracy to kidnap someone or to execute the death penalty on someone? Interesting. Um, there's a correction to make regarding your statements about the number of people in prison. Only Mark Cashone Christopher is. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You're wrong. So, uh, they cut connection with Mark Cashone, which is great news. I mean, hopefully... Some of them were able to to use a fiction to get out of whatever they were into. But keep in mind, folks, everyone that uh, these people right here, Gabriel Mary, Bishop, Liam John Costello, Craig McPherson, Judge Christine Martin, Frazio, all these people right here, they all chose to follow Marcus Sean Christopher. It was their choice. Everybody has a choice. And you make that choice based upon your knowledge and your beliefs and your sensations. So if you choose to ignore logic, then this is what's going to happen. So yes, that individual in that YouTube comment is 100% wrong because we have three folks, Sean and Shiza Harper and, uh, and that Martin fellow were given 30 month sentences. The group called itself the Federal Postal Court, also known as the Court of the People. Members had self-conferred legal powers derived from what they believed to be the true meanings of words. Christopher was the group's chief judge with Martin and Sean Harper as his, his sheriffs. Why not Shiza? Why wasn't Shiza a sheriff as well? Hmm. Guess not a not so equal opportunity employer. Shiza was a former special constable with the Metropolitan Police. Oh, well, she was a cop then. Held a postal inspector role. That's very interesting. Many followers. Yes, he did have many followers. Um. Mr. Justice Goss said, I am satisfied that you are intelligent, persuasive, manipulative, and dishonest. 
I won't argue with any of those assessments, for sure. Your group, of which you are the self-appointed leader, preys on the vulnerabilities of others, particularly those in financial difficulties, who you are able to persuade to pay you significant sums of money and do your bidding. Folks, wouldn't you prefer the word whom rather than who in that scenario? Whom you are able to persuade? Just curious. You clearly recruited your co-defendants and your to your ideology and took a considerable amount of money from Sean and Shiza Harper. There's the coroner that they were going to kidnap. Lincoln Brooks. The court heard Christopher sent Mr. Brooks a series of letters between March 2022 and April 2023, accusing him of being a detrimental <laughs> necromancer who must face corporal punishment, including beating with cattle prods. Okay, now I get now I get where they have the idea that Mark was sending threatening letters that cause anxiety and stress. For sure, for sure. Why, why would, oh, okay. Why ask why, really? I mean, I boil it down to two things. Ego and stupidity. And maybe one more thing. Not playing with a full deck. Mark Christopher will seek the death sentence for damage and insidious conduct delivered at the court by the coroner. Wow. This, this is the same reason, with my humble perception, that Mark got kicked off of YouTube and his channel deleted. Because he was saying stupid shit like this. Why would he ever think that he could get away with doing that? In any venue or platform that's public. When he has a following. Now now he's going into the sort of Charles Manson, Jim Jones, David Koresh sort of uh, category. Now I'm not saying there aren't other things involved, but Charles Manson, Dave Koresh, and Jim Jones... I'm not saying that alphabet agencies don't have anything to do with those things or that other things happen. I'm saying in general, in the general public's eye, this is what it appears to be, I would think. Me as a member of the general public looking at this. Dude looks crazy. Sounds crazy. Control and dominance. Reading a victim impact statement, area coroner Michelle Brown said her life had changed forever. I was extremely scared and feared for my safety, said Miss Brown. The attorney representing the Harpers said that they were in Christopher's thrall due to the level of control and dominance he had. She claimed they had been on a trajectory of awakening since the trial. So they're still sleeping, but they're on a trajectory heading towards waking up someday. Maybe, I guess. They were pressured to pay more than three thirty thousand pounds to take part in online courses. Pressured. I would take issue with that. There is no pressure to pay that. The only pressure I can say that those types of things exert is that it's put on the customer by the customer themselves. I have experience with Mark Sean Christopher. I actually took part in his 12-week course back in 2017, back when I was a beginner and I didn't know anything about this stuff. And he was the only individual that was out in the public offering courses that had anything to do with quantum grammar. So I was like, oh, look, this, this looks cool. And so I signed up. And then after that, you know, he would say, oh, I'm doing a business course. I'm doing a plenipotentiary judge course or whatever but there was never any pressure never any pressure to pay the money for it as a matter of fact um, when he said the business course came out I said hey man you know I just don't have the cash to do it Mark said ah, don't worry about it you, you can just come on I'll send you the links and you can be in the business class I said, wow thank you so there is, by my knowledge, no pressure 
I mean, maybe that has changed over the years. Maybe Mark has have become more. Uh, how can we say this? Aggressive in his marketing, but I don't. I don't really see it. I mean, this is just to me, from my outside perspective, is an example of someone trying to play the victim and trying to put the blame on their own actions on someone else. It's that simple. Uh, Martin claimed to have been acting with King Charles III's approval to tackle state child trafficking on Christopher's behalf. That's interesting. So this guy claims to have Charles, King Charles III's permission to tackle child trafficking? Folks, do you think that King Charles III, direct descendant of uh, Count Dracul, do you think that he would want anyone to tackle child trafficking? King Charles III? Martin says he feels very sorry for Mr. Brooks and Miss Ground regarding the impact his offending had on them. So he feels sorry for them because of the fact that he was coming to kidnap them and perhaps even unalive them? Oh, how magnanimous of Mr. Martin. Christopher is a cult leader and radicalizer. Can't really argue with that. It's very good at manipulating people, obviously. Obviously. People with debts, people with problems have come to him. People with zero uh, exercising of critical thinking. He's recruited people normally unknown to him, and that has resulted in them committing very serious criminal offense. All right. Let's watch a little bit of video. This court, this court is now sealed. You no longer have access to any shields or child support. Otherwise, you will get a home visit. We understand? I do understand. Do not interfere with my sheriffs. No, I don't care, sir. Do I not, do not interfere. With I don't care, sir. Step aside now. No, sir. Otherwise, you get the same treatment. Okay, sir. Please don't resort to violence. There's no violence here. You don't interfere with my court system. Ever. What courtroom are you in, man? Courtroom 2. Courtroom 2. Help yourself. We're done. That was pretty comical. That guy really does live in La La Land. Um, and you were there to serve a warrant, um, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, yes. Um, and ask them to Cease. not write names as if people are dead? Yes. yes. What they call a technical word is non here. So who, how would the plan to execute that warrant today come about? Just to tell them, you know, these are people gathering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we are serving you. Please shut it down. Don't continue with this. Yeah, that's what the plan is. Okay. That, that's what Listen to the tone of voice that he's using here. But to ask them to please shut it down. Yeah? And please stop interfering. Yeah? Please. Please stop. Alright, now compare that to the tone of voice he was using in the video that I did earlier. I didn't hear any pleas. I didn't hear any etiquette. What I just heard and saw was this guy and a couple other people coming into a facility that they basically don't own or have a share in. They're going into someone else's venue, someone else's vessel. And behaving belligerently. That's what was going on there. Now, he's singing 
a little bit of a different tune, a little different melody here. Well, actually, a lot different melody here. It's my duty as a man to go and inform that that you are conducting business pretending to have crown authorization from his majesty as well so i'm just doing my duty as it were interesting it's his duty as a man to do this so he's giving authority to the crown okay and like I said, these things you can check yourself and you can qualify it yourself because that's online on the government website itself. Clearly recruited your co-defendants to your ideology, took a considerable amount of money from Sean and she's a Harper, and having recruited Matthew Dean Martin, waived payment. Folks, I had to point this out. What is, is that that dude's hair? What is, why is he wearing a wig? I've never understood that. What is the tradition of this? Because it, how can you take someone like this seriously? Because I certainly can't. And I could, of course, go into the significance or, I guess, insignificance of the red garb with the white fringes I could go into what that mm, perhaps might mean I know what I think it means but I'll leave that up to you you can do your own research on what those protocols are if he carried out your unlawful acts of reporting to close courts and arrest the coroner for the offences of conspiracy to kidnap and to commit false imprisonment, the sentence is one of seven years imprisonment. For the offence of malicious communications, the sentence is one of 18 months imprisonment, all sentences to be served concurrently. You will be released from custody no later than two-thirds of the way through that sentence, and the remainder of the sentence will be served on licence in the community. If you fail to comply with any of the conditions of your license, you will be liable to be recalled to serve the remainder of your sentence in custody. I order payment of the statutory surcharge in the sum of £228, but make no other financial orders. In your case, I also make a restraining order prohibiting you from, one, contacting Michelle Brown, either directly or indirectly, by any means whatsoever, two, contacting Lincoln Brooks, either directly or indirectly, by any means whatsoever, and three, entering Sayak's house or any other courthouse in England and Wales without prior appointment. This order is to remain in place until further order. If you have any interest in any of the uh, items identified in the list that has been provided to the court in respect of which I make a forfeiture order in respect of all these items, all those items being forfeited to the police, uh, that applies to you as well. M Matthew, Dean, Martin, Sean Harper and Sheeza Harper, would you all stand? You each became caught up in these conspiracies at the behest of Mark Kishon Christopher and were prepared to commit offences by doing his bidding mm -hmm. in the role assigned to you. Their choice. You still fail to acknowledge your wrongdoing and the harm you have caused by being a party to his beliefs and purposes and remain loyal to him. Taking account of your role and personal mitigation in each of your cases, the sentence for the offences of conspiracy to kidnap and to commit... Okay, does, is anybody else getting Santa Claus vibes from this guy? Just asking. So let's watch a little bit of uh, this one, and then I'll draw it to a close. And to check it, and to perform audits. You were all qualified by Mark Kishon Christopher. You all regarded him to be a judge and your instructor. 
and you believed and still believe that you were told by him what you were told by him and that he had helped you. You were and remain committed to him and his status, his powers and his court for the people. Lincoln Brooks was and is the senior coroner for Essex. Okay, we've seen enough there. What can I say, folks? What can I say? What goes around comes around. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. I've known that this guy has been doing what he's doing and it's less than on the level as some secret societies might say. It's not uh, not fair. He's made a lot of money. That's one thing he knows how to do. However, I think that uh, in closing, I, I think that as I said at the beginning, you know, those three things tripped him up. Maybe, maybe at some point a long time ago, he had positive volition, like he really wanted to help people at some point many years ago. But perhaps that, that changed. Or maybe, and this is just an idea, this is an opinion, an opinion, a guess, a thought. Maybe this guy, a long time ago, saw what David Wynn Miller and Russell J. Gould were doing and saw some future money-making opportunities with it and attached himself to that domain. And used it. Because he's made a lot of money off of this stuff. You can see it in the articles and, and, and things like that. The stuff he charges for his programs or whatnot. He met Russell J. Gould in person. He attended Russell J. Gould's seminars. He met David Wynn Miller in person. You can see the video proof of that on YouTube. So he knew both of those men and yet never got closure on the grammar. He had access to two of the folks that supposedly would know the most about this. And he probably is one of the folks that knows the least about it. And with my humble perception, is part of the reason why he is where he is now. Doing seven years and 18 months in prison. Two-thirds of that, of which he has to physically serve, and then the rest he can serve, what, with an ankle monitor? I don't know. And there are still folks out there that uh, still believe in him. I just did a live stream where there were folks in that live stream who were trying to make excuses for him. There is no excuse for that to try and physically kidnap somebody and or unalive them. People who... Oh, why? Why? Why did they... What, okay, let me get back to that. What was the reason? When you saw him being interrogated at the police station, he literally said he wanted to stop the coroner from all capping people. So the casing of the letters was an issue for Mark, and he was going to kidnap and unalive the coroner because he didn't like the way the coroner was writing names. Now, I know that's a cheeky way to put it. But again, folks, it's everybody has a choice as to how they're going to do things. And he chose to do it that way. He chose to... <clears throat> he chose to do it that way. He chose to go down that road. And I just basically think his ego, um, ignorance, and I think he probably is not playing with a full deck. I don't wish prison or jail on anyone. 
much less death. I mean, that's just, that boggles the mind. But this is very close to uh, what Russell J. Gould was doing a couple years ago and maybe still continues to do. Like when Russell was making videos calling on bounty hunters. He wanted bounty hunters to go out and arrest Dick Cheney, George Bush, all these folks. Marcus Sean Christopher, he had an arrest warrant for Marcus Sean Christopher. Russell did. And he also has one for me. Just like I think Mark has an arrest warrant for me. Oh. It had been worth them pulling up to try and arrest me. It would have been worth them just trying to do it. That would have been fun if they would have tried to physically arrest me. Okay, anyways, fun time's over. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I don't wish anything bad on anybody. Uh, everything is, you know, lessons. And hopefully that guy learns a thing or two. But if you follow his history, he has a history with perpetrating what we could call scams. He had the scam that he was doing with that that uh, young fellow from Portugal, Leonardo Edwards, when they were promoting some type of chemical drink or something, and then they got into the to the grammar thing. So. He has a history of, of that type of thing and making money off of it. So I guess the final message I can leave with you folks is just be very careful. Caveat emptor. Please use your critical thinking and your logic and don't let your personal biases and assumption presumptions make the decisions for you. Or before you know it, you might end up in the same 10 by 10 as that guy. That doesn't sound like fun.